Que lo que mi gente de girl Cristina, tu vecina favorita que maquilla. And I'm back with another Hi. Let's Chat video and my daughter is here. Girl. Sidekick. Yes, my little sidekick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's just a camera right there. Okay. So today's video, I will be speaking on traditional gender roles. Is that mm -hmm. outdated or not? Do we still believe in traditional gender roles? Are we still for them? Or are they a thing of the past? This is a new era. Men can do what women do and women can do what men do or did. So what do I mean by traditional mm -hmm. gender roles? This is mainly things like, you know, what has been traditionally expected of women, such as being the main caregivers, um, you know, being expected to cook, to clean, things like that. And then, you know, what has been traditionally expected of men, such as men being the yeah, primary yeah. breadwinners, um, mm -hmm. the ones who basically mm -hmm. take on all the financial burden mm -hmm. or responsibilities, and also being, you know, the, the protectors, things like that. So I think here in the U.S., um, gender roles were pretty t traditional for most of the 20th century, and but it mm -hmm. kind of started taking a turn, I would say around the 60s and 70s you know that's when i feel like a lot of um like the youth started to take a different turn and um nowadays it's like you find people that still believe in these roles but there's people that don't and like you have like feminist movements and i feel like it's mainly more so women um feeling like they don't want to be expected to cook. They don't want to be expected to clean. They don't want to be expected to be the main or only ones involved in, you know, child rearing. So y'all already know my family is Dominican. And I would say that um, even now, in back in um, DR, the roles are still pretty traditional. You still find a lot of, you know, households in which the women stay home. You know, they take care of the kids and the men are the ones that go out and work. So I think it can be good and it can be bad. It's good and again, focusing more on the women here, I think it's good in the way that um, women aren't, they don't have to carry like that burden of, you know, trying to figure out where money's gonna come from. They know that they can rely on their husband, you know, their man to support them and their kids. So that's like a burden off of their chest. Um, so, you know, they don't have to worry about paying for babysitters or paying them in daycare, you know, paying for expensive daycare, nothing like that. But of course, they're expected to keep the house clean. They're expected, you know, to provide their man with a hot meal as soon as he gets home from work, you know, give him breakfast in the morning, all of that. So, of course, those are all positives. The con to that, though, which is what I have seen and what I believe to be the, the downside to that is that women are also expected to put up with a lot more BS because their man is supporting them and taking care of them you know you'll find you know these men they, you know they'll have side families and side chicks and this and that and it's kind of like and the women know about it like that's something you see a, whole, a lot over there the women know but they stay quiet because again they don't have that um financial freedom you know they are so dependent on these men to take care of them and their kids so they just kind of put up with it and stay there so there's pros and cons to the situation personally i would i consider myself as one to be for the, the traditional gender roles so i think that to an extent i do kind of support the traditional more things that are expected of men and women I say to an extent because I have been working since I was 16. So I've always been pretty self-sufficient. And even now I have my two daughters and um, those of you that have been following me already know my kids' father passed away. So I am the primary breadwinner of my house. I am totally responsible for paying my mortgage, paying all my bills and paying for anything my kids need. And so I'm, I'm you know, raising my kids I wouldn't say by myself because I have my, my mom and, you know, my entire family that helped me. But I'm pretty much doing it on my own. And honestly, at this point, I can't say that I could just be totally dependent on a man. I think for me, it would be very weird just because I have been used to making my own money, providing for myself. So, I don't know. I feel like at this point, if I was to find a man that could financially provide for me, it would be kind of weird because I'd feel like I'm always almost giving up 
some type of power i don't know it, it's it's weird i don't know i just feel like you do kind of lose a little power when you are mm. so dependent on somebody else so but i mean with that being said i mean if it really came down to it and again i found a man that could provide for me financially and maybe i only had to work part-time i would take it i probably would um because it would help me save money with babysitting you know i'd be able to spend a lot more time at home with my girls or if i had any more kids in the future and you know i i think part of the problem in society today is because of the fact that women have become so self-sufficient which isn't a bad thing but it's almost like we're not we don't allow men to do these type of things for us mm -hmm. it's because you know a lot of women you hear them out here you know i'm miss independent i don't need no man blah 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 which okay i mean sure you may not need a man per se but it is nice to have a man around and if you do have a man around i don't feel that we should strip them of what they are just innately inclined to do so that's another thing when it comes to all this because i do think there's differences between men and women you know just innate characteristics that just make us who we are that we just i mean it just makes us who we are i mean for example women we are naturally caregivers we are naturally nurturers you know we naturally express empathy and sympathy and we're you know more emotional so i think it's only natural that you know we are a lot of times a primary caregivers or child rearers you know when it comes to raising children or that we just naturally serve our men not serve in like a bad way but like you know we we want to serve them and do things for them and show them that we care like that's just part of who we are and then for men i feel like men are just naturally inclined to mm. want to be protectors you know to want to protect their their castle to protect their woman to protect their kids and to be able to provide for them so i think it's kind of like the way we are now where it's like women aren't just dependent on men to pay for everything um you find situations now where you know some people split the bills so they pay a half and half which i think is okay you know i don't see a problem with that my thing is i i just feel like as women we have to be careful not to basically take that from our men like allow them to provide for you if they can you know allow them to take that protector role you know I just feel like even if you are a self-sufficient woman um like compromise with your man like allow him to do these certain type of things for you you know and i just feel like if you i mean these days i mean come on there's a lot of guys i hear that they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing they could care less about helping you financially and a lot of we got a lot of dudes out here that are just deadbeat dads that don't even want to you know provide for their children so if you find one that is willing to do these things for you let him like let yourself be taken care of not not like to the point where you're like totally dependent on them but you know let them take some of that stress off of you you know and in turn you know cook for your man um try and keep the house clean now that's not to say that you should be the only one doing it no okay a man like y'all like to leave your laundry around leave all your dishes around and then look let me just say i'm not the neatest person in the world either okay i'm just talking here but having lived with a man of course these are things that happen y'all like to leave all your stuff everywhere and expect us just to be cleaning out for y'all like hold on now i'm not your mama but um so i mean these responsibilities can be also shared you know and men y'all should also learn how to cook a little bit too um again i don't see a problem with the woman being the main one cooking but i mean you know you should at least know how to make rice you know or i don't know grill some chicken something simple you know not saying y'all have to be some chefs out here but you know help your woman out sometimes with the with the cooking too and especially with the child rearing like taking care of kids because that is something that would annoy me with my kids father is that he mm, he liked to be like the the one that did the fun stuff with them on the weekends sometimes or whatever but as far as having to stay home with them all the time you know he always expected me to do that and so he would make his plans especially on the weekends 
not checking in with me at all. Like, hey, I'm trying to do this. Like, are you going to be okay with the kids? Like, he just made his plans. Like, hello, I want to have a life too, you know. But anyway, so I think the main point in all this is compromise. Um, Now, if you decide you want to... um. I don't know, do more of these traditional things. If you if you as a woman, if you want to be home and you want to be cooking and cleaning and doing all these things and the main way to take care of the kids, then hey, that's that's totally fine. And you know, men, if y'all want to show your women that hey, I can protect, I can provide, I can do this and that, like go ahead and do it. I don't I don't see anything wrong with you know keeping the traditional gender roles as long as there is mutual respect to each other on both ends and as long as it's not or the men in the situation aren't like abusing the freedom that they get because I, I do think the traditional roles do grant the men a lot more freedom. So as long as that's not being abused, then I think it's cool. So yeah, I mean, I can get down with, you know, being that stay at home mom, but I could only do it part time. I couldn't be a full time stay at home mom. I couldn't do it. I I need to work at least a little bit. I need to work part time, you know. I, again, I just I need to know that I can still bring in my own money. Like that's just the way I am. I I've been like I said too used to making my own money, so I just would not want to be a hundred percent completely financially depending on a man. Like I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But um yeah, so I could do a part time, you know, if I had a man that could provide for me and pay most of the bills or our bills, stuff like that. Like, hey, why not? That would also give me more time to make videos on YouTube and, you know, do my makeup and, you know, get more clients, which if you know, I could find a man to pay most of the bills, which would free up more of my time to where I could, you know, take care of my kids, but also be able to take like more clients at my house, like makeup clients. That'd be awesome. Like I would love to do makeup like more all the time, you know, because that is my passion. You just drop this. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think the the roles really it's changed for women more than it has for men, and. That's really where the shift has come in. It's it's always the women kind of changing things up. But um yeah, so again, we can, you know, make our own money, do our own thing, but just don't let it get to the point where you just we're like mm, pushing men away from what they are also meant to do, if that makes sense. Like let your man still, you know, provide for you if you can. You know, let him be the protector of his kingdom. You know, let him be the king and you be the queen, you know. So, yeah, that is my two cents on the topic. Let me know what you guys feel down below in the comments. Are you guys for the traditional gender roles? Or are you guys like, nah, that's a thing of the past. I can, if you're a woman, I can do what a man does. Or if you're a man, I don't, I don't know, whatever the opposite is. Let me know in the comments down below. So guys, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you all in the next video.